What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be going over classes and objects in Swift because as you might have guessed it, Swift is an object-oriented programming language. So let's just go ahead and go over the basic syntax on how to create a class and what classes really are. So to get started I'm just going to say that a class is kind of like a blueprint. So if you want to build a car, you want to make sure that the car has wheels, you want to make sure that the car has a steering wheel, and that you can sit in it and that it has an engine. You want to make sure that each part has something that it can do. So a class is just kind of like an outline of what we're about to create. So inside that you can put the parts, the functionality and what most cars can do. And this will help us with recreating more cars. So it just makes it a lot easier to recreate objects and to make our code much more efficient. But that's enough of the theoretical side. Let's go ahead and actually create this car. So we're going to create a class called car. Then we're going to create a few attributes such as the car type, which will be set to default initially. Then we will go ahead and create a max speed, which will be set to 100 and a fuel type, which we will set to diesel. Now we're going to go ahead and create a function. So here we can create a function called describe the car, which is going to tell us the information about this car. And we are going to print that the car type runs on fuel at a max speed of max speed, kilometers per hour. So this is going to be the only functionality our car has at the moment. Later on, we should also create an engine and we should also create the manual or automatic function and everything that belongs to a car. But for this example, we should keep it short and just leave it at that. So now we can just see the car, but we don't really know what it does. But let's go ahead and create a few objects. And the first one is going to be a Tesla. And an object is just an instance of the current car. So the car is the blueprint and the object is going to be the more specific version of the blueprint. So if we go ahead and say Tesla is equal to car and we also go ahead and create a default car which is called regular car and that is also going to be equal to car. So there we created two different objects. Now the first thing we're going to do is change the attributes of a Tesla because right now we created a Tesla with these attributes. So it's going to say default max speed of 100 and diesel, but Teslas are electric, so we want to change that. So the first thing we have to do is change the fuel of the Tesla. We will call tesla.fuel and just change it like this, just by assigning it a new value. Then we can go ahead and type in tesla.cartype and we're going to set that to Tesla. And finally, we're going to go ahead and type in tesla.maxspeed and that's going to be set to 320, depending on the Tesla model you have. So here we managed to change the attributes of Tesla, and now it's time to actually call the function that describes the cars so we can see what we've done until now. And I'm getting an error here because I was supposed to put max speed there and not fuel. So now we can go ahead and call the functions from these two cars. And the first one we're going to call is for the Tesla. We're just going to describe the car, then we're also going to call the regular car, which we did not edit in any way. And we're also going to describe that car. So now when we run the program, we're going to get two cars and two descriptions. The default car is going to have the default value that runs on diesel at 100 kilometers an hour. But the one that we have edited will have a Tesla that runs on electric at 320 kilometers an hour. So as you can see, we managed to create two cars in very little time. But it's quite annoying having to change the values for each car. It makes it very hard to read our program. And this is why in the next video, I'm going to be covering how we can do that in a much faster way using initializers.